everybody. Welcome back to another Thursday night Street Church Live on this nice and chilly South African night. Thank you for joining us these last couple of weeks where we went back and had a look at one of the crusades that we had in Palm Reach in 2018, which was phenomenal. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, tonight we're going to end this off with where we're doing some feeding, some more ministry and a word. You know, a good word, a positive word about removing the veil. You know, at a time like this, we just want to bless you guys. Stay tuned as from next week, we'll have a different episode, different location, different things that's going to come up. So sit back, relax, enjoy it. And again, thank you for sharing and, you know, sharing our posts and liking this videos. Please keep on doing so for us. Bless you guys. Enjoy. Bye-bye. what the word hallelujah means it means praise the lord so let's sing praise the lord praise say hallelujah. hallelujah there we go okay so can anybody tell me where jesus lives in your heart that's it girl <laughs> so is he in heaven or is he in our hearts He's everywhere. Okay, so quickly put your hands on your heart. Can I tell you guys a secret? Go like this with your ears. Go like this. Shh, shh, shh. Shh. I can't hear. Okay. This is the biggest secret you will ever know. Okay? Do you want to hear it? Did you know that your heart is a house? Who of you guys live in a house? Do you like a clean house? Yeah. Do you like a dirty house? No. Go, ew! You must go, ew, wicka, pew, Yeah, Yeah, that's exactly what you need to do. Okay, so put your hand on your heart. What makes our hearts dirty? Do you know? Sin. Do you guys know what sin is? Can anybody tell me a sin? Yes? Yes, when you lie to your mother, when you're ugly with your friends, have you ever been ugly to one of your friends? Ah, uh, me too, don't worry. But I always say sorry because I'm not perfect. So, who wants to clean out their houses today? Who wants to make their houses clean? Your heart. Who wants to clean your house and your heart? Okay, so close your eyes. I'm going to pray and then you pray after me. Put your hand on your heart. Say, Jesus, Jesus you, are good. you are good. Forgive, Forgive 
all my sins and can live inside my heart. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, I need one friend to help me. Who wants to come and dance with me? On stage. Who's excited to come dance with me? Come. Come jump. Go, come around this way. There we go. So, who can tell me where, where's God's love? Only in your heart. Isn't it everywhere? Okay, can you jump? Okay, everybody, space out a little bit. You need space to jump now. Okay. So we're going to go up and down. Go up and down. Up and left and right. Then you go, your love is everywhere. Okay, but I need you guys to scream it. You must go up and down and left. Okay, let's try it. One, two, three. Your love is everywhere. Okay. What's your name? Sarah. Oh, isn't that a beautiful name? It's a beautiful name, guys. Yes. Now, did you know your name means something? Like joy or blessing. And Sarah is a beautiful name. Okay, so are you guys ready to jump? Yeah. Are you ready, Sarah? Are we going to show them how good we dance? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Let's go. ready. You see, when I say God is good, you should not show me that goodness you get when you get a sandwich or a time or payday or data. When I say God is good, people, when I say God is good, when I say God is good, my friend, God is good. I say I'm a fool, but hey, my God is good. Oh.
Divina. Hey, my God is good. Oh. of applause let's give God all the praise and all the honor keep it going keep it going keep it going let's give God a praise come on take 60 seconds take 60 seconds of your time to thank God for what is happening in Palm Ridge today give God all the praise the honor and the glory that he deserves come on come on come on you can do better than that thank you God thank you God Endureth the cross, 
despising the shame, and has sat down at the right throne, right hand of the throne of God. So that Jesus sits on the right hand with God. It's not the Mickey Mouse God, it is the only God. He is the bread of life. He is the beloved Son of God. It says in Revelation 19 verse 11 the following, I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse, whose rider is called Faithful and True. With justice, he judges and wages war. That same Jesus is sitting in this cloud now on his white horse, looking at each and every single one of you. Come on, amen. He is the good shepherd, great high priest, head of the church, holy servant. He is, I am. Which says, Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abram was, I am. Meaning that God is all. He is Emmanuel. He is the inscribable gift. He is the judge. He is king of kings. Let me hear it. He is king of? Kings. Come on louder. King of? Kings. Yes, it says in Revelation 17 verse 14, the following, it says, these will wage war against the Lamb, which is Jesus. And the Lamb will overcome them, because He is Lord of lords and King of kings. And those who are with Him are the called and chosen and faithful. So it says, if the enemy comes against you, or anyone comes against you, and you're a child of God, that battle has already been won. Why? Because the King of kings are in you. The Lamb of God is in you. Amen. Yes. He is the light of the world. He is the lion of the tribe of Judah. It says in Revelation 5 verse 5, the following says, Weep no more, saying, Cry no more. Behold, the lion of Judah, the root of David, has conquered, so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Amen. Amen. Yes. He is the Lord of all. He is the Messiah. He is the Mighty One. Come on. He is the one who sets free. He's the only God that can set you free from anything. Only one. There's no other one. All right. It says the following in John 8 verse 36. It says, so if the Son sets you free, which is Jesus, if Jesus sets you free, you will be free indeed. Amen. Amen. He's our hope. He's our peace, our prophet, our redeemer. He is the risen Lord. Meaning that He's not a dead God. We don't serve a dead God. No, we serve a risen God. Tomorrow we, to, tomorrow we celebrate Jesus standing up from the grave. Standing up from the dead. Defeating the devil. Breaking His jawbone. He is the living God. Amen. Some amen there at the back. Woo! <laughs> All right. <laughs> he is our hope, peace, prophet, redeemer. He is our rock. He is a sacrifice for our sins. In 1 John 4 verse 10, it says the following. It says, this is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us and sent His Son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. Meaning God loves you. So He is our healer. You know what that means? It says in Isaiah 53 verse 5 the following. But He was pierced for our rebellion. Crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. How many people have been healed here today? How many people? Let me see your hands. How many people have been healed here today? So He is our healer. He is the Son of the Most High. He is the Supreme Creator over all. He is the resurrection and the life. He is the door. He is the door. If you knock, He will open. If you ask Him today, He will open for you. He will, he, that's how much He loves you. He is the way. In John 14 verse 6 it says, Jesus answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. Amen. So He is the Word, the true vine. 
He is the truth. It says in John verse 8, 32, the following, And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Jesus is the truth. He will set you free. He's not a liar. He will not lie to you. Man will lie to you. Jesus will not lie to you. Okay, if he says he's with you, it means he's with you. If someone has hurt you, it means it's man that hurt you. It's not Jesus. But Jesus will set you free. Okay. He is a victorious one. And last of all, okay, now I want some amens and hallelujahs here. Okay. He is wonderful counselor, mighty God, everlasting father, prince of peace. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. If you want peace in your life, Prince of Peace. Okay. Amen. God's good, no? And all the time? Amen. All right, let me just get back here. Now, I know, I know that we've done this twice today. Okay. I know that we've done this twice today. You have just heard who Jesus is and who he can be in your life. Okay. So, I want the following. Do you want to know this God? Do you want to know this Jesus? Do you want him to set you free? Do you want him to be the Prince of Peace in your life? And stick up your hand if you want that. Come on, stick up your hand. I want your hand in the air. I want your hands in the air. I'm going to pray with you. And I know most of you have found salvation today. But we're going to get salvation today again. Okay. I want you to pray with me. All right. Are you ready? Father. We love you. You are the one true God. Come live in my life. Holy Spirit, come set me free. Jesus and Father, forgive me for all my sins. Make me free. Help me not to do these things anymore. And come live in me. Thank you. I love you. Too much. Amen. All right. Now I want to read you something else. So in Luke 4 verse 8 it says the following. In Luke 4 it says where the devil tempted Jesus. Okay. It spoke there that because you now gave your life, you have authority to do the following. Jesus said to the devil, he said the following, he said, Are you listening or are you talking? You're listening. All right. It says in verse 8, And Jesus answered and said to him, the devil, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you will serve. And I declare that over Palm Ridge right now. I declare, get behind me, Satan, for there's only one God that will be served in this place, and that's the Almighty God. Amen. You now have the authority to do exactly the same. It's not just the man of God or the woman of God that can do it. You've got Jesus in you. Take that authority and use it. Tell Satan to get behind you because the almighty God is in you. Amen. Now you've heard about the veil that got removed. Okay. So the theme of this whole crusade was removing the veil. I just want to read to you the verse that the Lord gave us for this. In 2 Corinthians 3 verse 13 and 14, it says the following. It says, unlike Moses, who put a veil over his face, so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the end of what was passing away, but their minds were blinded. For until this day, the same veil remains unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament, because the veil is taken away in Christ. So today, we're going to remove that veil from Palm Ridge. Amen. You guys are going to get set free in Palm Ridge. 
Are you ready? Are you ready? All right. So, I want you to do something. If you want to be set free completely, put your hands on your eyes. Asperger is under the machine. Okay. Put your hands on your eyes. Asperger is under the machine. If you want to be set free today, put your hands on your eyes. We're going to remove the veil. Jesus is going to remove the veil. Holy Spirit is going to remove the veil. We are going to remove. So if you have got any of the following in your life, God's going to set you free now. As soon as you remove your hand from your eyes, He's going to remove lust. He's going to remove poverty. He's going to remove bondage. He's going to remove deception. He's going to remove hate. Sickness. All sickness. If you are blind, you're going to see. If you are deaf, you're going to hear. If you want to truly be healed, you're going to be healed now. We're going to, be healed. We're going to remove the veil of disappointment, disillusionment, selflessness, selfishness, suicide. Unworthiness. Helplessness. Murder. Imprisonment. And we ask the Lord to remove anything today that is not from Him. So keep your hands on your eyes. I want to pray for you. So Holy Spirit, thank you, Jesus. I ask now, thank you, Lord, that when they remove their yes. hands from their eyes, thank you, Holy Spirit. you see their hearts, thank you, Jesus, that all of this will be thank removed you, from them. Thank you, Father. Yes, Father, we break that my veil in God, the name of Jesus, Jesus my that is in this place and yes, over this Holy place. Spirit, thank you. All of those words, thank we break Spirit. it now in the thank name of Holy Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, and we ask that you will set thank them free you, completely. Yes, Lord. Holy Spirit, I ask you, Jesus. that Thank when they Jesus. remove their hands, Thank you, Jesus. you will touch them yes, Lord. with a new voice, yes, Lord. with yes, a new Jesus. language. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Spirit, we ask that you will come yes. on top of them now. Thank you, Jesus. Baptize them. Thank They've you, been baptized yes. in water. Thank you, I Jesus. ask to baptize them in the Holy Thank Spirit you, now. Yes. Father, touch Mighty each and every single Jesus. person now. Mighty God. Not just here, but this Thank whole you, of Palm Jesus. Reach, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be with them, Lord. Thank you, Holy set them free. Thank you, Holy In the Thank name of Jesus, Thank remove you. your hands and you will be set free. I want to ask that when you remove your hands, you start praying. Even if it sounds like a different language, you start praying. You're going to start praying loudly. And you're going to start saying, Thank you, Jesus, for setting you free. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, Thank you for give the setting praise. us free, Lord. Thank you for setting each person free, Holy Spirit, take back now, Lord. Thank you for setting us Thank you for setting us free, Lord. Thank you for setting us free, Lord. Thank you for setting us Thank you for setting us free, Lord. 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 Thank you for setting us free, Thank you for setting us free, Lord. 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 Thank you for setting us was a Nazaveto was Felayo, Uskululi, the Baba Sabonga, Moing on the Siakan, the Nababan Donabaco, Eka Mendiga Chess was a Nazaveta, Siabacula, the Moing on the Kuberan Shalo, Babu Minister in Jesus' name.
Thank, thank you, Lord. you for Amen. a new fire on each and every single one of their tongues, Lord. Yeah. A new thank fire you, on each and every single one of their lives, Lord. Thank you, Lord. So that yes. when we leave here and they go back in there, they're going to testify Jesus. of your goodness, Lord. Thank you, Lord. They're going to testify of the peace that they felt of yours that is only coming <laughs> from you, Lord. Each and every single child that is here, each and every single gogol that is here, each and every single person that is here. Thank you, Lord. We ask now that the blood of Jesus will flow through the seat. So that when they walk here, yeah, they will start taking the ground back, Lord. Jesus. We ask that they will start taking the ground back. And Thank as they walk, the blood of Jesus Thank will fall in there. Thank so that Lord. this ground, Palm Ridge, will Thank start getting back yes. to them. And they Thank will realize Jesus. who the one true God is. Thank Lord. you, Jesus. One true, the Thank one and Jesus. only living God. Thank you, Lord. And we say, Thank you, Lord. Yes. I want to pray for the ministers that Thank are here. Thank you, Jesus. The, all three of them that are here, Lord, I want to pray you. for them. Thank and you, I Jesus. I ask that you will bless all three of them yes. with new fire for their ministries, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So that the Holy Spirit will pull those thank people you, into them. Thank you, Jesus. And in with them, Lord. Thank I you, I say Jesus. thank you for your goodness, Thank you, Father. Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your blessing, thank Lord. Thank you, You are thank a good you, God. Lord, I want to yes, pray and I want to say thank you for thank each you, and every single yes. volunteer. Yes, Lord. Are, yeah. And I say thank, thank you for their hearts. Thank you, for Jesus. For blessing them, Lord. Yes, for bringing Lord. them a yes. servant heart so thank that they can come and serve yes, Jesus. for you and you alone, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I say yes. thank you for this opportunity. Thank you, Jesus. You are a good God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Did you have a good time? Amen. Were you touched? Are you, do you feel free? Amen. Do you feel joy? Amen. Hey, you are all awesome. Amen. Let's Hallelujah. give the Lord a clap. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.